Well, let's head out to Titletown where the frequent flyer is standing by. CBS lead NFL insider Jonathan Jones pounding pavement all month long. JJ, always great to see you here on Monday. You're amongst the ongoing celebration in L.A. J.J., year one of the Matthew Stafford experience couldn't have gone any better. Record-setting wideout numbers, 17 starts, no dings, the always elusive first ring. With all those boxes checked, what's dangling out in front of number nine this go-around? Well, listen, they are so excited to have Matthew Stafford. I was talking with Sean McVay earlier today. They're not just colleagues. They're not just coworkers. They're not just coach quarterback. They're friends. Mm. And they are, I don't want to say tied at the hip necessarily, but they see the game through a very similar lens. And we understand how important that is for Sean McVay with his quarterback. We saw the deficiencies that his old quarterback had, especially after giving him a $100 million contract and then getting out of that contract about as quickly as they gave it to him in order to acquire Matthew Stafford and forget about those picks as Les Snead, the general manager, is wont to do. And so right now, though, Matthew Stafford, he has a bit of, a, of an elbow issue. He had a procedure in the offseason. Remember, they got him that contract extension, about $120 million in cash flow that's going to be coming through in the next couple of years. Uh, they're basically having him on a pitch count right now where he got about 40 to 50 individual throws out here early, earlier today but as it relates to team drills and seven on seven he was on the sideline it was a john wolford show out there uh, earlier today in team drills so they believe that they are doing everything they can to preserve matthew stafford for the games that matter we're not going to see him in the preseason I, I don't think i'm breaking any news there uh, but they are doing everything they can to make sure that he is as healthy as possible for week one when they face the buffalo bills yeah, the script is out in front of them we'll see if they can run it back stafford he did make quick friends with the now extended cooper cup last year as well statistically one of the top three seasons in NFL history by a wide receiver. Led the league in receiving touchdowns, first downs, yards after catch, button his head on 2K. Few have ever been there. Even fewer have had an encore performance. Is it reasonable to expect some sort of regression out of Cup this year? I think it's reasonable to expect that. In fact, I was talking with a very high-ranking Rams source earlier today when we were talking about Super Bowl hangover. And there was just the, the trueness of, hey, it's not reasonable to expect that the Rams can actually repeat mm -hmm. as Super Bowl champions. Why is that? Well, it hasn't been done in nearly two decades. In the super, or excuse me, in the salary cap era, it's really only happened three times. And so, because of that, and I say that to sort of transition into Cooper Cup, he had the greatest receiving season <laughs> of all time. He won the triple crown. And do you think that you can just follow it up the next year and say, "Yeah, let's win the triple crown again"? Never been done before. And so, a regression? Sure, I think if. You you're comparing numbers to numbers from 21 into what he's going to do in 22. One has to believe that he's going to come back down to earth. But we see right there the guys on the list. Jerry Rice is the only one who could ever imagine of putting together back-to-back -to -back seasons like that. And so Cooper Cup, very good. Probably not Jerry Rice. So let's go ahead and say, yeah, his numbers will be down from last year. That doesn't mean that Cooper Cup is not an absolute dog who is the offense is going to run through this season. Now, Allen Robinson is looking really good out here in the number one. They have very, very high hopes for A-Rob, but Cooper Cup is absolutely that man. Yeah, he was fantastic a year ago. We'll see what sort of numbers he can put up this go around. Offensively, you sort of allude to it there. The weapons, they rotated nicely a year ago. Uh, after Robert Woods goes down, OBJ pops up. Running back room gets thin. Cam Akers recovers from an Achilles at the rate of a white walker. This year, they add Allen Robinson, the name you just uttered there, which will allow a longer leash here for Van Jefferson to get right. Reportedly, going to undergo a minor knee procedure on Tuesday after seeing a specialist on Monday. What can you tell us on that front? Yeah, so Van Jefferson, who uh, had so far had a decent camp, he had had a knee issue earlier. This is a different issue with the knee. Did see that specialist over the weekend, and so he will have surgery. They're calling it minor surgery. I've never had surgery. If I were to have surgery, I would probably not call it minor, <laughs> but it's a knee tweak of some sort. He will have surgery. The timeline is unclear, but Sean McVay was very clear that it is up in the air, his availability for week one. And so what does that mean? Well, they have a Ben Skoranek that's here who knows the system. They have a couple of guys who can fill in here at that wide receiver three position. But everybody's going to ask, how about OBJ? 
How about OBJ? I'm here to tell you that Odell Beckham Jr. is not going to be playing in the NFL in the first couple weeks of the NFL season. He's just not going to be right with that knee. And talking with folks around the league, talking with folks here, there's an expectation that, okay, week 10, week 11, he should be recovered. He should be ready to go. May, you know, you're going to have to ramp him up and acclimate him, of course. But that's the area we're talking about with Odell Beckham Jr. It's also not going to be something where, oh, you're ready to play and you want to sign? All right, let's go ahead and give you the veteran minimum. Odell Beckham Jr. saw the money that Christian Kirk made from the Jacksonville mm -hmm. Jaguars and then whatever else has happened with the wide receiver market since then. So don't think that you're going to get Odell Beckham Jr., the guy with that really nice ring now, uh, for the cheap. He's going to want to be paid commensurate to his level of play. Nothing minor, always major. When Jonathan Jones is in the building, JJ, we appreciate you breaking it all down. And here's a look at those previously alluded to odds to win it all this season. And the defending champs offering some serious value if you think they can go back to back with that battery of offensive weapons in tow. 12 to 1 is the number. Uh, the Bills are your odds on favorite at half that value. 6 to 1 and the favorites with kick coming quick. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.